Welcome, everybody, to the No Name Nonsense podcast. I know a lot lately, everybody's been talking about anti-bullying campaigns, and in the world of movie, one of the biggest, most known historical movie bullies passed away, um, Tiny Lester. Most people will know him as Debo from Friday. Um, I know him from something different, which we'll get into later. But we decided, in honor of Debo and Tiny Lester, to go ahead and do our top three movie bullies of all time. So before we jump right into that, please remember to follow us and subscribe. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, all DSPs, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and et cetera. And we are also on Hair, uh, Hair Cannon Circus on Instagram. So you can check that out. I've been doing something very dumb called uh, Hair, uh, Hair Cannon Thoughts, where I make up stupid ideas and thought processes that nobody cares about so but check that out all on instagram but so we want to go into top three movie villain uh movie uh bullies so when everybody realizes we're talking about movie bullies not really just movie villains so my top three which i think was going to surprise you but number three for me is like we talked about is going to be tiny lester but not as debo but as zeus for no holds oh, yeah. barred Oh, yeah. Yes. My hey. introduction to Debo was as Zeus, and I was a wrestling guy. Like, that image of Zeus beating up Hulk Hogan like, <laughs> is etched in my mind. And, like, <laughs> it was, like, one of those things. Most of my bullies are people that I was, I'm probably afraid of in real life. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeus is one of them. Uh, that's my number three. So check out No Holds Bar. We really don't check it out. It's a terrible movie. My number yeah. two, which is going to make a lot of people upset, Danny LaRusso from The Karate Kid. I think his bully, he's the worst kind of bully. He's the kind of bully that once you go and put them hands on him, he acts like he's all weak and innocent. Like, yeah. so homeboy comes to school, goes after Johnny Lawrence's girl, dumps like water and beer on them during the Halloween situation. Then when he gets his ass beat, we supposed to feel sorry for him. Yeah, like, he, he didn't bring crying, this on running himself. Running the, like, he go crying running to Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> right, 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 right. Like, so he's the worst kind of bully. He's the worst kind of bully because you can't even put your hands on him properly. Then finally, when you get a chance to put your hands uh, on him, he does an illegal move to beat you. He's a bully. Danny okay. LaRusso is a bully, and if you have not watched Cobra Kai, you will see even further how Danny LaRusso is a bully. And we fell for this okie doke back in the day, thinking that, oh, well, look, he's the bad. Johnny Lawrence is no, no. Johnny was just trying to live his life. He was the karate kid. He was the guy that was out here doing the karate thing for real, was hanging out uh, with his boys, had a fine-ass girl, living his best life. Here comes this dude from New Jersey, and we know how New Jersey guys get down. Oh, yeah. He yeah, come yeah. in there trying to take his girl, messing with him, throwing beer and shit on his head. And then when you got to <laughs> put these hands on him, he going to have this old Asian man whoop your ass in the beach. Come on, man. Like, And then I think my number one, which may make a lot of people's list, Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. I think Biff oh, is yeah. probably the ultimate movie villain. And, like, I mean, he was even his, – his ancestors were bullies. Yes. <laughs> Back to the Future 3, so – he just yes. grew up in a bully genetic combination for all all history. If you mm -hmm. were a Biff or something of a tannin, you were a bully. So honorable mention, I had the O'Doyles from the Billy Madison saga. They were honorable mention for me. And then I had an honorable mention for um, Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty yes. Beauty. He's such a dick. <laughs> yes. <exactly>. Such a <laughs> dick. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's such a narcissistic pig and you're just you watch it and you're just like uh can this guy just shut up absolutely absolutely all right dj tunes what do you have for your top three all right starting at number three i'm going with uh the movie karate kid like you referenced johnny larusso <laughs> however i'm going uh, to the opposite end of the spectrum going with johnny lawrence mm, okay. uh you know the blonde the blonde the blonde bully from karate kid uh, then number two, I have uh, Catherine Mertil, uh from uh, Cruel Intentions. Yes. Sarah Michelle oh, Geller. Yes. Uh, one of my oh. uh, ultimate uh, favorite bullies of all time in uh, yes. cinema. Cinema. I history. mean, and that's one of those bullies where, like, it kind of is in that LaRusso for me. Like, you can't put hands on her. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then also, yeah. she can seduce you and you'll like it, but you know it's exactly. all a bad intention. Like, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm right there with you. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's it's like that she climbed the ladder to success in school like she got good grades and she mm -hmm. just she got up there and then as soon as she got to the top she's like i am the bitch and you cannot mess with me yeah yeah she was evil that bitch yes. was, <laughs> i despise her but it was a good movie though 
Number one, my favorite uh, movie bully of all time is Regina George from The Plastics, Rachel McAdams, Mean Girls. Yes. Classic stuff there. Yeah. I was close on that one too. The the, yeah. the the political game. Yeah, yeah. Like her political game was Trump tight, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Shout out to her. Shout out to Rachel McAdams. Any uh, honorable mentions you got? Uh, honorable mentions. Uh, I did contemplate uh, Tiny Lister Jr. from um, No Holds Bar. That was one of my <laughs> all-time favorites. You know what I'm saying? I was a big wrestling head back in the late 80s into the 90s. A big Hulk Hogan fan. And mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that movie, you know what I'm saying, was one of my all-time faves, for real. As a Hulk Hogan fan back in the day, how, how much did it break your heart when you realized Hulk Hogan's kind of racist? All right, Mama Steve, top three bullies of all time. Okay, so my number three is Nancy Allen from Carrie. She played Chris. She's that blonde girl She's that, a bitch. um, <laughs> good one, good one. yeah, yes. you know who she is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And when she just, you know, she's John Travolta's, you know, paramour or whatever, and mm. like gets that whole idea with the blood and everything. How she's just pure evil. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh no! When you, you jump, when you dump pig blood on somebody's head, you're a bit mm -hmm. like you, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you deserve anything you get at that point. Maybe not <laughs> death, but real close to it. Yes. Okay. And so my next one is gonna be um, Stan Gable in Revenge of the Nerds. He played yes. the jock. Yep, the mm -hmm. frat boy jock. It was like he was like a narcissistic bully, but at the same time, he would like gaslight everybody. It's like, well, I we we understand that you want to form your own fraternity. How? ever don't you think that that could cause a a bit of a disruption like trying to prevent the nerds from forming a forming a fraternity you know mm -hmm. and it was just all that narciss narcissism all that gaslighting and then in the end he lost the girl so yeah hey yeah. try lambda lambda <laughs> okay y'all are gonna laugh at my number one <laughs> what you got it's Scott Farkas from Christmas Story. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I mean, come on. You know, it's the classic childhood bully. And so my question is, did this kid ever go to school? Because they show all the school scenes where the kids are going to school. But where's Scott? Like, does he go to school or does he just hang <laughs> out waiting for the kids to get out of school and to bully them? You know, with the raccoon hat. Right, right. It's like Scott Farkas was like the definition of bully yeah so that to me that's going to be the bully that i see mm. in movies is is scut farkas um honorable mentions uh helga pataki from the hey arnold movie yes i know it's mm. like a television show but technically they made a movie they did so make a movie gonna, you are yep. correct so we're gonna go with helga pataki on that one um, but wasn't well, she in love with arnold yes and that's the beauty of it is usually bullies have something to hide so what do they do they they get like defensive and mean and everything but it hides their true feelings and helga was like the is like the definition of a childhood bully mm. in regards to emotions. And then, um, for, I, th I think it's how you pronounce it, Feruza Balk from The Craft. She played- Oh, um, okay, Nancy. the main the main witch. Like. Yeah, and spoiler alert, she ends up in a psychiatric ward at the end of the movie. Yes. Hey, check, check it out. So I got, I was mm. telling you if y'all familiar with these bullies. Okay. Uh, Louise Fletcher and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. Nurse Ratchet. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Nurse Ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, here's a follow-up. Here's a follow-up. Cal from Titanic played Rose's fiance. Oh. I've never watched Titanic, so. He, yes. He, yeah. Yes, I like that one. You, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Rewind? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, you, you want to see Titanic? No. Man, get out of here, bro. Why? Why? Man, come on. Please dog. explain to me why I need to watch Titanic. Everybody asks people that. They're like, yo, because you got to. Like, we, we know what happens at the end. Time out. If you're not, you don't want to claim that you've seen it, but honestly, bro. No, I've never watched Titanic. Watch. It was too long. Titanic. Time, time out. Never. Any, nothing. I probably watched Man. the opening 30 minutes, and then when somebody told me it was three hours long, I said, I, I'm not. I can't do this. Oh. You have yeah, to watch the whole thing. For what? <laughs> to watch a love story it, on a boat that's going to sink? No. Are you crazy? Three hours for that? Come on, bro. I had that's, that's a classic film, bro. It could be a classic all they want to be. I'm not watching three hours when I know the ending. Oh, bro. Come Time on, man. Come, come on, seriously, bro. How many movies have you seen where you know and you can easily predict the ending of the movie? Come on, man. I well, no, easily predict the time. ending is different than knowing the than ending. Knowing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I haven't watched Pearl Harbor. I didn't watch how. Pearl Harbor that movie either. A couple movies I just, now nah, I'm For good, you. man. 
You want okay. to give me three hours to watch something I know how it ends? Like, nah, I'm good, man. No, so no, 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 no. You have to watch it. it. It's going to be what it is, like. It's not about the ending. It's about the in-between, the storyline of it. The acting. Come on, man. Come yes. on, bro. I'm good, you man. Dis- you, dis- you disrespect in movie cinema history there, No, Nah, bro. nah. I feel like it's a growing movement of people that are like, nah, we're not watching Titanic out here in these streets. Just like <laughs> it's a growing, crazy. it's just like a, it's a growing system of people who won't watch Avatar, the James Cameron Avatar, which was like the highest selling movie. It's a growing people that be like, nah, I won't watch it. Like, it's it's just Fern Gully with live action. Like, nah, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't oh, watch Titanic. Say, but hey, even, even still, y'all still haven't gave me a good reason to watch it except for that it's a, it's a supposed classic. It is only Bro, a classic just because, like, acting, the cinematography, the, you know what I'm saying, the script. All of it. It was great. All of it. And, I and understand the f- where you're coming from, knowing you know what's going to happen. I'll put it end. this way. Yeah, if I, I put on Titanic right now, DJ Toons, you watching it? I will watch it. Over I- football. You I will watch it. Nah, come on, bro. Okay, my <laughs> point exactly. <laughs> oh my God. If football I was going to put Stranger Things or Titanic or Mama C, which one you watching? Well, I will watch Stranger Oh, well, Things, see, obviously. okay. I mean, okay, we've seen Titanic out. like a dozen times, bro. Time you out, time Stranger out. Things a dozen I, times. I've seen but Titanic it, more because let me tell you a story, okay? I had to beg my mother for me to go see Titanic and she absolutely refused until I was at summer camp and one of the activities was we were going on a field trip to go see Titanic. The summer counselor and the director had to call my mother at work and it held up the entire group of kids in the bus so they were begging my mother to let me go with them to see Titanic. And the director clearly stated, Mrs. Burgess, I don't understand why you won't let your daughter go see a movie about a historical fact. This wasn't and- a historical fact. Only a historical fact about the ship went down. It's There's no real it. roles. There's no real the Caprio thing. character. That is These exactly are all made it. up things for a story that is not even interesting. <laughs> Okay, but it's not okay. about that. It's about the it's about the the you know Rose as an elderly lady, and she's flashing back to Titanic, and there's a lot that happens. It's, with her and her love story with this vagabond dude that don't more, nobody care yeah. about. It's more than that. It's not oh, about it's love. It's about what it's about what's right and what's wrong. It's about you know honor and dignity. It's about living your life to the fullest versus living a life that you are miserable with, all for the sake of money. It there is, it is, oh, there's wow. so well, much to it. Well, hold on, hold on. And I could do all of this and not watch a three hour movie about a ship going down. Oh. All that you just said, I can name numerous movies that do that, that I don't know the ending of, and doesn't include a ship going down for three hours. But you have no idea what we're talking about with Cal and the bully. That's the point. Cal is a bully and he is a narcissistic pig. He's Rose's fiance. And guess it what happens? I guess can watch The Wedding Singer and get the same story. Guess what happened? And it was funnier and it was a shorter. Hey, hey, have you seen uh, Endgame? Yes. Which uh, one? What, Marvel's Endgame? Yes, Marvel's Endgame. Yes. How long is that movie? About three hours. Okay. (laughs) Did you know what was going to happen at the end of that movie? No, actually, I didn't know what was going to happen at the end of that movie. We all knew that Thanos was going to die. So you thought Thanos was going to die? They were going to snap away? Tony Stark was going to die? Yes. You oh, all knew all know. this. No, you no, all no, knew no, going into no. this movie that at the beginning of the know. movie, Thanos hey. with his head cut off. Hey, y'all I knew all this, right? I didn't know. I didn't know in Titanic whether what Rose was going to survive. I, she I, told I, the story I, at the beginning. Oh God! Oh, but the beginning scene is Rose telling the story. What are you talking about? Hold up. The Titanic sinking is not necessarily the end of Titanic. There's more after that. You have to watch it. There were there were survivors. I didn't know who was going to survive and who wasn't. We know Rose is going to survive because it's told from her story, <sighs> her point of view. Oh, What's am I saying? Did, the only way you not, know someone's going to survive know, is bad. We did, not, we did not know Leonardo Di- DiCaprio was going to die. I will grant you that. I would have put very heavy that. odds that majority of people on Titanic would have died because we know historically a lot of people on Titanic died because they did not think the ship could be able to sink. Maybe that's the difference is because I knew a lot about the Titanic before the movie came out. So I was not interested in watching a love story, a dramatization of a ship crashing that we know it was about. Maybe that's the difference here, is that I kind of already knew what was going to happen, and I kind of know a lot about everybody the Titanic. Knew, everybody There's knew. There's more to I it. Did, I, did, I did not know the history of the Titanic, but I knew that No, Titanic but say, I did know the history of the Titanic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, So maybe that's why I'm different than both of you guys, is that I knew the history of the Titanic. Hey, like, but I don't knew you why know, it went okay, down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew exactly what don't they you, did. Don't, they you did. Know, don't you know the history of uh, comic books? No, not all of them. 
Man, you know a good bit of it. I know a good bit, but <laughs> the movies actually <laughs> changed the history, though. The movies aren't exactly like the books, so okay. it's a it's different interpretation exactly, of it. But you know, you know the premise, and you know more than likely, more more time than not, what's going to happen, what's going to transpire. Well, in no, because in game, actually, the whole Infinity Saga happens nothing like the books are completely different than what what we saw on screen. Completely really? different, like not even close. Like none of that Wakanda stuff ever happens in the book. Like it's completely utter different. Like. So, oh, like, like I, when bad, you use in game as an example, it's it's hard to use in game because it's things in that movie that are, aren't in any of the books, like time mm-hmm. travel and all that stuff, never mm-hmm. happens in in, in the, the Infinity Saga. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's a whole that's literally is a whole different movie that is based off of a saga. This movie is about the about the ship, and then they say, "Oh, let's sprinkle in some romance because nobody's gonna watch three hours of us waiting for a ship to crash. Okay, but that's that's the same thing that they do in, in the comic, I mean, in the movies versus the comic books, that they sprinkle in, you know what I'm saying, in, uh, new ideas and, you know what I'm saying, to make the it interesting. Is, and there appealing. is no book about Rose and all them for the Titanic they took inspiration from and then made it into a movie and then changed some things here. That movie was made with the intent of saying, hey, we're going to tell this story, a love story, but we're going to put it placed in the Titanic. And I'm like, I'm not trying to watch no love story for three hours. <laughs> And then be then I know how it was going to end. So okay, think of it this way: their love story is a manifestation of the many love stories that were right, on well, that ship when let's it start actually here. happened. How many love story <laughs> movies are you watching, James? <laughs> how many? No, 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 no. I'm going to finish. How many couples were separated? But that's right. What you about to say means nothing to me. It means nothing to me. How many love stories are you watching, James? Not many. Okay, that's my point but, right there. Let's start but, there. Oh, let's start there. You're not watching many love stories. How many love stories are you watching, Mama Steve? In regards to what? Just in general. You watch romance movies. How many romance movies are you watching? I've probably watched hundreds of them. But okay, that's stop not right the there. Point. Stop right that's there. That's not the point. Hold on, hold on. Titanic. So you are interested because of Titanic because you love romance movies. Toons is interested in it because of historical value and it just happened to be a good story. I'm saying that I care nothing about romance movies and the story doesn't seem interesting to me because I know how it ends. So the things that you guys are wanting me to watch it for mean nothing to me. So why would I want to watch it? It's Travis, have you seen Titanic? Of course. Okay. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> like, has Travis has never seen Titanic. Ghostbusters till like three weeks ago. What are we talking about? Okay, Ghostbusters, Titanic. I'm sorry. Two different levels. Like, yes. Come on. They're not even on okay, the same Okay, let me speak on this. So move. Yeah. I guarantee you more people enjoy Ghostbusters than Titanic. Okay. Man, get out of here. That's just- so for people yes. who enjoy Ghostbusters, they will enjoy Titanic. That's the problem. Yes, I have. My daughter seen- will watch Ghostbusters. They will not watch Titanic. They I will watch seen- Titanic. And be like I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna Titanic. Go Is it a must watch? Absolutely not. So the fact that you haven't seen it, and the fact that I know you anyway, like it's not a big shock that you haven't seen it. And okay. no, okay. Be- okay. you. Okay. Notice, notice his key words. It's not a big shock to him that I haven't seen it. Because he knows and, I don't want to watch that kind of shit. And you don't need to watch it. It's not that great of a movie. The best part of the movie is the song, which you can just <laughs> listen oh, to Lord. anyway. So, all right, well, guys Travis has said about Titanic argument that Jason yes. does not need to go see Titanic. You do not need to go see Titanic. And it's too- Oh, that'll make me sick. You know, you know, tune in next week when Jason watches Titanic and gives his true feelings about it. I don't think I got three hours in a week to spare watching Titanic. Oh, no, you bro. too. Just, just to punish you, we're gonna we're gonna make you watch the TNT version for four and a half hours. Oh so. yeah. Oh yeah. I definitely <laughs> ain't on you. that time. Same on you, bro. Yes. <laughs> oh, I need a I need a strong beverage. <laughs> Hold on. Let me actually I'm gonna go to the biggest movie guy I know, and he will tell me if it's worth watching. If he says yes. I will watch Titanic. Hey, Alex. Hey, I'm recording the podcast right now. So I said that you are probably the biggest movie buff friend I have forever. And we we got into this debate about watching the Titanic and how I've never watched the Titanic. And DJ Toons and Mama Steve are appalled and say, I should I need to watch the Titanic immediately. Is the Titanic worth my watching time? It's three hours and 14 minutes of your life you will never get back. Thank you. <laughs> I know that because I, it's the only movie I know the exact running time of because I was checking my watch every 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> that solves not- all my – thank you, Alex. I really appreciate oh, your time. Hold on, hold on. So he doesn't need to at least watch that movie one time? Yeah. Okay, well, Toon says, do I need to at least watch the movie at least one time then? No. All she right, I appreciate it, it Alex. Thank you for your help. No problem. <laughs> All right, bye. You know what would be a good idea for James Cameron to re-release it 
with an alternate ending. That would be yes. awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Or where Rose actually saves reality. DiCaprio, or just yeah. the ship doesn't go down. Idea. Just give me a bright idea. They need to re-release it with an alternate <laughs> ending. They just CGI thing. out the iceberg and just keep <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you for watching the No Name Nonsense podcast. As we just had a spirited debate about if I should watch Titanic or not, which I know Mama Steve is so heartbroken. You think there's that nostalgia, Mama Steve, that you had to fight so hard to go see this movie, and that's why you love it so much? I was 12, and I'm glad that I saw it. It was great. Yeah, I, I seen that movie in the theaters, bro. Woo! At, a, at AMC Colonial 18, bro. That's, that's back when the seats that. was garbage, too. That wasn't back now where you could get some reclining seats, and oh, that's man, back yeah. when it was straight garbage. Oh, man, my back was so stiff, bro. <laughs> I didn't sleep good for about two weeks. All right. Thank you guys for listening to the No Name Nonsense podcast. We are on Hair Cannon Circus everywhere. That is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all DSPs, Spotify, and et cetera. Mama Steve is, has her feelings hurt here. But join the circus, and we can let Mama Steve just do a complete video on the merits of Titanic and why you should watch it. And you can catch that, and you can say, yeah, Mama Steve is right, Jason. Get on that boat. We'll have Mama Steve work on that now because, you know, I feel like that's the only way she can vent out this frustration from me appalling her by never seeing Titanic. But we'll mm. see you guys next time. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> mm.